What is going on guys? It is me, Devon Ever Cry. And I'm back with a discussion video for today. Now, judging from the title, you can see that this is gonna be all speculation uh, and some theories. So not everything that's stated in this video is canon or you know 100 percent confirmed. However, the evidence that I'm gonna be using to support said theories will be, and I'll leave a link down to the sources for that down below. So with that out of the way, let's just dive right in. So looking at the character V, we don't know much about him, however, all the rumours and speculations and some supposed leaks off of 4chan suggest that he is somewhat a sorcerer, he's a long distance fighter, he doesn't like to really get his hands dirty, um, and that's sort of obviously supported by the uh, by the fact that he carries around this book and this cane. Obviously we haven't seen any gameplay, so we don't know how he fights, but if he were to be a demon or a half-human, half-demon hybrid, he'd probably end up like Dante or Nero, Virgil, and he'd be fighting up close and personal because he has access to superhuman speed and superhuman power. However, considering every time we've seen him, um, he doesn't really seem to be much of a fighter, I'm going to assume for this video that he is a human. Now, I did a little bit of research um, into the franchise uh, and I'd found that there's one other human being who was capable of summoning demons to do his bidding. Um, and if you've seen the Devil May Cry animated series, um, you sort of know who I'm talking about. Um, you at least know the character Patty. Now, for those of you who don't know, she was just a little girl in the anime who was sort of somewhat enamored with Dante, but that's besides the point. Who I want to discuss is her father, Alan Lowell, who was said to be a powerful alchemist and sorcerer. Uh, he was a human, obviously, who had the ability to summon and control lesser demons. So this whole idea of a human being able to summon demons uh, is something that's been around in the franchise before, and considering that Itsuno seems to be pulling from all over the DMC franchise. I wouldn't put it past him to get the idea of being a sorcerer from the anime, because obviously at this point he was already heavily involved in the franchise. However, there was one demon that Alan Lowell was said to be incapable of controlling, and that was Abigail. And obviously if you've seen the anime you know that um, because Alan couldn't control Abigail, um, he immediately decided to just seal away his power because hey, you don't want a demon running rampage and killing you. Um, you know, Abigail was said to have power that could rival a demon king's. So this is a pretty powerful beast we're talking about here, and the fact that it's a human summoning them, it's uh, it's fairly crazy. So this whole idea of Abigail having its power sealed away. Well, if you look at the anime, we know that um, Sid, you know, the lesser demon, um, was sort of the real um, villain of the anime. From what we know, Abigail transferred power over to Sid. Um, however, that obviously wasn't enough, and Dante easily overpowered the souped up and pow powered up Sid. Um, and that's obviously when Sid launches into the whole um, speech of, you know, our lesser demons just doomed to being weak forever and yada yada. But what about Abigail? We don't know much. Obviously we know that Sid is dead um, and we know that Sid died whilst holding Abigail's power. Um, so we don't know exactly the fate of Abigail. Is Abigail dead as well considering, you know, power's been sealed away or whatever little has been left has been essentially snuffed out by Dante. So we don't know. Some have suggested that the tattoos on V's body look eerily similar to Abigail or Abigail's face, but that could just be a coincidence. But I just wanted to discuss the, the fact that this is something that has been seen in the franchise before, but again we won't know more until we actually see some gameplay. So that is pretty much going to do it for this video, um, just nice and short, quick little discussion. 
Um, if there's any errors or discrepancies, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts as well. Um, feedback is always appreciated. If you want some live updates as to what I'm doing next with the channel, feel free to follow me on Twitter. If you want to talk about DMC with some like-minded DMC fans, I'll leave a link down to the community Discord in the description as well. It has been me, Devil Never Cry. I would like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.